What's good everyone, it's me, Man Astros here, back again on some Ryzen 3. This time around, I'm doing a street style S13, and I hope it's going to be good, because there was, a, there was an update, and I guess the wheels sensitivity got patched, and I was on my, I hopped on the game, I was driving my S14, and I, uh, I think they broke it. They broke something. But anyways, we're going to see how it goes. We're going to try 900. If 900 doesn't work, then we'll go to 7 or 720. 270, 540, you know. Anyways, we've got an SR in here. Uh, it's rear wheel drive, of course. Uh, I think I'm on street tires. Yep, street tires. Did 235s in the front. Uh, 245s in the rear. Stock uh, rim size. And for the drivetrain, it's a sport clutch. Sport transmission, street drive line, and a sport diff. And for the platform and handling, we have street brakes, rally suspension. As you guys, you know, should already guess that. Uh, we did stock roll bars, front and rear. Uh, did a street chassis, and a street street weight reduction. Ooh. Terribly sorry about that. Uh, as far as the power, I think we're making just about 350. Yeah, 345 horsepower and and the torque. All right. Uh, sport intake, sport fuel, race ignition, race exhaust. I believe stock cams. Yeah, stock cams. Uh, street valves. Stock block, sport pistons, oh shit, let's get the turbo, uh, race intercooler, sport turbo, and sport oil and cooling, and a sport flywheel. Let me go ahead and show you guys the tune, and we'll get into this. I, I just threw something kind of random on here in a way, it's kind of, it's you know, yeah, you guys will see. It's ugly. Anyways, uh, 20 PSI, 410 for the final drive. And here's where it gets ugly. I just said, fuck it. Five degrees of camber all the way around. And then, you know, negative two, toe in the rear. Seven foot out caster. Can't do anything with the roll bars. Whew. 654 for the front stiffness. Rear is 554. Slammed it. We got 50 for the front. 45. For the rear rebound, uh, 4 1 front bump and 3.5 rear bump. Can't do anything with aero or brakes, and then we can only change the acceleration and then put that at 70. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. I was kind of hoping it was raining. Oh my god, it feels. It's so loose. I mean, don't get me wrong, the sensitivity is there. But there's that. I don't know. That's to me with 100 force feedback, it should be giving me a little bit, a little bit less of a dead zone. Um, yeah, it starts to turn, but I don't know. You could just be all the camera I have. We'll see. Yeah, what do you guys think about this color? I don't know how well you can tell, but this is uh, championship white from a Honda. You know, with the gray two tone on the bottom. I like it. I think I think it came out really good. All right, let's let the screech know. Don't you, bruh? That was that was intentional. Oh my god! I just got this done. It's so like it's so soft. Like what, what the. F With 104 feedback, there's like no fight. Although this does not feel as bad as the S14 did. Am so I gonna have to go and tune all my cars with five degrees of camber, 350 horsepower? I mean, I don't mind it because I'm not gonna lie, this actually does feel kind of good. But it doesn't feel right. Like before the update, it didn't feel right as well, but it felt kind of better than this. I can manage this. Mm 
just... Yo, second gear, though, is just, like, chilling. No angle Nancy over here. There we go. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This is kinda nice. 350 horsepower right here. Alright. That's enough of the figure eight. Let's do some other things here. Let's see how good the second gear really is. Okay, oh wow, 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 wow. So far, second gear second gear feels oh Say second gear feels good. I mean, in a way, now that I'm getting used to it. I'd have to say the wheel does actually kind of feel better, and I know just before I recorded this, I was, I was like, yo, this S14 feels like shit. I hopped on Twitter and I was like, oh, they fucking broke it, blah, blah, blah. See, like, ooh, right there. That wasn't normal. two inside there. Oh my god, I'm so tired. Wait, what, did, what did I say? Misfit Drift? Couldn't tell if that was my boy Misfit or what? First I thought it was how do I drift. I was about to say, I thought he left. AKA Tank. Wheel may not feel as strong with this update, but the accuracy is definitely improved. Oh, let's see that. It loses itself. It's like it forgets it's a wheel and it forgets to turn. No, I don't want to hit start. Okay. Where to next? You know what? We will go hit up. Let's say compound, whatever you want to call it, okay? We'll see. I'm I'm still 50-50. Matter of fact, we're gonna live tweet this real quick. Let me hop on the Twitter real quick. Let's see. Here we go. Okay. Now I'm 50, 50 on how the wheel feels. Let's see if I can. Wait, 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 that way, that way, there we go. I just probably can't read it, but whatever, it's there. I just wasted all you guys' time. I'm so sorry. Okay, try this old compound here. I really thought I was gonna have to go to 270 or like 540 or something. You know what I mean? Like, damn it, they broke the wheel. I think what it is. It just takes more effort. I've noticed that I've noticed that about a lot of people on Forza, especially people on wheels. They don't want to put out the effort. If it doesn't feel a certain way, 
You're like, nope, it's broken, fuck that. But me personally, I'm I'm very guilty of that because I stopped playing Forza 6. I shit, I stopped I stopped uploading to YouTube because Forza 6 felt so bad to me on 900. Like, you know. I can't blame them, but it's like, come on, this is Horizon. This is this, this game's the easiest shit to slide on. Just, just give it some time. No, put it on 900. Here's 100 force feedback. But still, right there, every now and again, it's gonna. It, it, it does its thing. Just gotta be ready for it. Oh shit, oh shit. Okay, this isn't working out. I don't, this fan, or this spot, not really a fan. At least in this car. Why does that have a, oh. All right, uh, let's go her. Let's try the good old airport. I wonder if the airport has like a different surface. I've noticed some of my cars feel a little bit different there. Like, I'll take the same car to different spots, go there. And it's like, what the hell? Something done broke? Oh my god. Sunken battle dick in the rear. You guys saw that? Alright. To me, it feels like overall strength of force feedback has definitely dropped. That is that is 100% how I feel right now. Oh shit. Maybe some people just need to adjust their linearity. Whatever the fuck it's called. It's some, something new that they added for the, uh, for the wheel settings. Third. If I had a clutch, this would be a lot easier. There it goes, not wanting to rotate all by itself. Hmm. I don't know, guys. To be quite honest, I'm I'm on the fence. It kind of feels better to me. But at the same time, it doesn't. I don't know. This game sometimes. This franchise sometimes. What am I saying? Oh, yeah. bruh. You're gonna hit me again, too, aren't you? Ooh, the fainting seems to be a little bit easier. Oof, fuck. You have a bucket list challenge to complete nearby. Would you like me to set a route there for you? No, bitch. Alright, we're gonna go down here. We're gonna high speed into this. When I say high speed, I mean 250 horsepower high speed. Probably not very fast. I lit off so early like I was hauling ass and I really wasn't. 120 miles an hour? That ain't fast. twice here. Oh, 
son of a bitch. Well, there goes that. I really wish he'd come off the ground so hard. Oh my god. Alright, well, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think if you guys are on the wheel, how you think it feels to you. I don't know. It's your main man destroyer, so I'm getting the hell out of here. I'll see you guys later.